so I'm Testably A Convenience, and starting in around 1975, mm -hmm. I started keeping a list of every time that I misread something and had to do a double take to see what I'd actually read. So to give you an example, um, I would be walking past, say, a uh, newsletter box, and uh, even though I'm going to give away I think, one of the better lines in this text, I would read, every policeman shot in Towson. I'd walk and I would think, wait a minute, that couldn't have possibly been the, uh, the headline. So I'd look back at it and then I would see that it says, elderly policeman shot in Towson, which is quite a different concept. So um, I'm going to read what I thought I read, and then I'll say instead of, and then Green, Casey, my compatriot here, will read what was actually there. And in some cases, I had to do triple takes because I was only sort of half paying attention when I was trying to reread the things to see what they actually were. And this is a list that I kept drawing for probably at least a decade and would still keep going if I hadn't gotten too lazy to do it or, or distracted by other interests, I guess, is more accurate than too lazy. <coughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you in voice? When you said, as a old comedian used to say. Um, Free spirit instead of tree sprites. An eternal D good instead of an eternal golden braid. Little tavern shoes instead of little tavern shops. Every policeman shot in Towson instead of elderly policeman shot in Towson. Sex words 80 instead of seniors 80. Marvel and marathon instead of Maryland marathon. Fear, booed, wine instead of. Fear, food, wine. A body man instead of. A holy man. Travesty for House of Delegates instead of. Hardesty for House of Delegates. Progressive waking instead of. Progressive winemaking. Military sewer instead of. Sanitary sewer. Wealthy Baltimore instead of. WBAO TV Baltimore. Harry Parch instead of Barry Patch. Jin moves into a new app instead of GM moves into a new era. Violence thermostat instead of Wolverine tubemanship. Poetry and ceramics instead of Pottery and ceramics. You high <coughs> instead of Wednesday night. Senility and change in Congress instead of stability and change in Congress. <clears throat> baked foots instead of baked foods. The Kotex counter instead of the lottery guide. Bigfoot medicine and health instead of biology, medicine and health. Unify mom instead of thrifty mover. Punk beds instead of bunk beds. Clothes for reincarnation instead of clothes for renovation. Flat starch instead of Flat search. Famous art instead of luminous art. Two plays for furniture instead of two plays for puritans. Fake calcium chloride instead of flake calcium chloride. Exceptional men for a legendary fishing core instead of exceptional men for a legendary fighting core. We are afraid of the senior citizen instead of we are a friend of the senior citizen. The Barefoot Lakers instead of The Lake Forest Building Burning Van instead of Burning Man Ninja instead of Fanta Boat Show for Beach Show? She just saved me there because I was supposed to say Beach Show. <coughs> uh, Gift of Sorcery instead of City of Sorcery Death instead of Eaten Plants for Anybody instead of hearts for anybody. Should you say me again? Uh, uh, wash bum college bible instead of wash burn college bible. Stalin instead of satin. Frightens breath instead of freshens breath. Martha Reeves and the umbrellas instead of Martha Reeves and the Vandellas. Let's see the tribe instead of let's set the table. Buy a hockey player instead of hug a hockey player. 
Jews on theory instead of Jaws of victory Bay of piss instead of Bay of pigs Land of desperate living instead of Land of pleasant living Freighter instead of Fighter Three fishermen more that writes as servants of the community instead of Three firemen more that writes as servants of the community Cheesecake Bullet instead of Cheesecake Blues instead of Chesapeake Blues. The world's finest record TV world's finest recorders instead of The world's finest recorders. An eye for a Korean instead of An eye for an eye. Artware instead of Habitare. Drums and rotors ruined instead of Drums and rotors turned. Turn brown instead of Tuesday, April 1, brown. Two Ear Fatigue Street instead of Two East Fayette Street. SK instead of Essex. Sex changes instead of Five excerpts. Blow your visit to downtown Baltimore instead of Enjoy your visit to downtown Baltimore. Drive insane instead of Drive inside. Most edible bachelor instead of Most eligible bachelor. Painting and transplants instead of Planting and transplants Bud Powell instead of Bird Power Time Travelers instead of The Travelers Music for Morons instead of Music for Airports Martha Washington instead of Marion Washington A Logical instead of Abigail Parakeets instead of Parents Apricot Fruit Salad instead of Apricot Facial Scrub Elmer Workshop instead of Summer workshop. Strange coupon instead of Strange coupon. Brooklyn electric chair instead of Brooklyn electric court. Physical anthropology instead of Performance anthology. Al nasty instead of Listen to Vegas instead of Syria. Seven mates a week instead of Seven nights a week. Regional business clitoris managers instead of Regional business controls manager. Conspiracy Trail instead of Calvin's Party Tray. Cibaron instead of Chinatown. Remarkable instead of Non Breakable. Youth treated to retard spoilage instead of Kaikwin treated to retard spoilage. Tobacco <coughs> music instead of Tobacco Mosaic Virus. The Iowa Test text of basic sales instead of The Iowa Test of basic skills. That's it. It's like a 10 years or so of accumulating that thing. Oh, man. Uh, You're the kind of guy that walks around with a little pad. I, you know, I used to have a notebook that I carry with me all yeah, the time. Okay. And, and it was interesting because I had a notebook that was just for jokes, right? So you go up to somebody and you say, you know any jokes? And they go, no. And then they go, yeah, I know one. And then, and then they tell you one. And then the floodgates open. And then the next thing you know, it's like everybody knows 20 jokes that they want to tell you. And I'm trying to, trying to write down 20 jokes. And it got to be so intense. I got so many jokes laid on me that I couldn't take it anymore. You know, I mean, I, I couldn't keep up with the amount of jokes that people would tell me, right? So that was one notebook. And another notebook was for just ideas that I had for projects. Well, I'm more or less a workaholic. So I was writing down so many projects that I was filling notebook after notebook, and then I looked at them and I thought, it would take me a thousand years to ever <laughs> realize all of these projects. And then I, I stopped because I thought, this is ridiculous. I should just do whatever project I can think of off the top of my head now instead of consulting this notebook and having this endless thing of it. And then there's this, but <clears throat> there's other ones too, like, uh, I have a small book called Telepathy Receptivity Training that's all things that I think of when I am half asleep. So if I'm waking up in the morning and some phrase comes into my head like, boogaboo fiend slabber or whatever, then I get up and try to write down boogaboo fiend slabber before yeah. I can forget it. But I don't know, has anybody here ever tried to keep track of their dreams? I, 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 I have a for at various points in my life, I've had a pad. I love that stuff. Yeah. And the hypnopopic, hypnagogic, yeah. hypnagogic, hypnopopic yeah. stages of when you're like kind of half in, half out. Yeah, and yeah. And um, yeah, I, I, I pulled some really good stuff out of that. Out I, of that. 
Do you well, know when, when I was in graduate school, we had a, uh, I, I, I took a uh, writing workshop, and uh, the instructor had us um, lie on the floor. He, he wanted us to go home and lie on the floor with one arm in the air. The idea was that as, as you nodded off, the arm would drop and wake you up right in the middle of the hypnagogic state. Yeah. And you were supposed mm -hmm. to write down. Oh, cool. But um, you know how hard it is, right? To try to write down, especially if you're trying to write down a dream. Yeah. It's like, oh, you, you yeah. know, you wake up from the dream and you remember this incredible wealth of detail with the environment and everything else, and then you right. go to write it down and it's like it quickly becomes reduced to brown room or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, And, and I, I try to write them down and I do, but <coughs> you may or may not know that there's a thing called the Annandale Dream Gazette that's the Poets Dream website. Has anybody ever seen that? I think, heard, yeah. It's, it's run by Robert Kelly. I don't even know whether he's still alive or not. He's a relatively well-known poet and a woman named Lynn Barron. And you, you send them your dreams and they, you know, they, they post the dreams and then they have a, a link for just you. So if somebody goes on and wants to only read the dreams of Mark B. Rocksteady, then they could click on the Mark B. Rocksteady and have 10 dreams there. Yeah, this one's some pretty creative, cool. Do you know Rick Beach by any chance? I recognize a name, but I might just recognize the name. He had a, self, he had a, a self published comic called Rare Bit Themes, and he, it was all like his dreams that he um, would write down and then he would illustrate them. But in the back, he had this whole section of like, you could send him your dream, and like he'd find some other artist to like illustrate it, and they were just like real micro. But um, yeah. You remember Windsor McKay? Because that's what yeah, Windsor, they, yeah, they, they, yeah, they yeah, little they yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, say, um, I have habits of music. I have music in my dreams, and I try to wake up and I don't remember how it went, but I tried to write it down as fast as I could. Yeah. I play it on my keyboard, and I remember the chords, you know? Yeah. Well, some composers have made the claim that they yeah. compose entire pieces of dreams. And Nikola Tesla, who probably most people know as the inventor of AC electricity, I think claimed that some of his inventions came to him entirely in dreams or visions. Right. Yeah. Uh, Dolly, Tobinor Dolly, uh, said that a lot of his uh, surreal images came from the hypnotic state. Yeah. All kinds of, uh, One of my favorite methods to employ to try to yeah to try to capture the very fascinating. Yeah. yeah. This guy, um, Robert Van de Castle. He's got a great book called Our Dream in Mind, and uh, he goes into all of those examples of people that have pulled stuff uh, back from that, from not only the dream, but like that half, half dream state. It's, yeah. a, it's really great. There's all kinds of stuff, like from Persia, like the Persians had a lot of scholars, like with the mathematicians and stuff. And, like the Chinese, I mean, it goes back like thousands of years. Well, there's what, Sinoi dream theory, I think? The yes. The S-E-N-O-I? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Patricia Garfield writes about that, them in her book, Creative Dreaming. That's a, that's, a, that's a really good one. Yeah, the Sinoi people. Talk about honoring your dreams, right? I think, I think every president should be obliged to report what their dreams are when they wake up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I mean, just imagine, President Trump. Today I dreamed that I had 20 Lear jets of my own. Right. I, 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 I have to write, uh, I write uh, nonfiction for a living. But it has to be you know, factual, analytic, and at the same time creative. Sometimes I get a headache trying to, trying to work out a particular passage, and I'm stuck. So I lie down and take a little nap and figure, well, you know, the answer will come to me. Yeah. But uh, the answers do come in, in dreams, but they're, they're sort of useless. Like the one time I was trying to write this complicated thing about uh, uh, venture capital in Southeast Asia or something, and I had this dream, and it didn't tell me, but it showed me. If you hang people upside down from the ceiling like stalactites, everything will work out. <laughs> Well, that's that's probably a little less clear than uh, yeah, you know, consulting on each thing. And they were hanging upside down, and they all looked happy. <laughs> I have to say, you said yeah. the president should report their dreams. There should be a department of dreams. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
You know, I mean, the newspapers could really cash in on that. Instead of having to constantly only report about people who kill other people, they could report dreams. People might enjoy that more. Yeah. I, I could certainly take a break from the endless killing reports. Anyway, does, but does anybody have any comments or questions about? I enjoy that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, I enjoy that. Work, but I some, it. some of them are just so funny. Like, I mean, violence thermostat instead of Wolverine tube and shit. She and I were talking about this and we read it earlier just to check it out. And it's like, what the fuck is Wolverine tube and shit? You know, that's the real <laughs> yeah, thing. Really. But, and then, of course, the idea of a violence thermostat, I think it's kind of funny. I mean, it's like the, it's like the, uh, those warning alert colors or whatever, you know, they use these days in the age of post 9 11, whatever, the orange alert or whatever, that, that could be called a violence thermostat. And then, of course, you know, some of them seem to make political statements, like, you know, whatever, uh, Travesty for House of Delegates instead of Partisan for House right. of Delegates. Uh, but does that, does that happen? It must happen to everybody here, right? Where you're walking down the street oh, and yeah. you see something and you go, like, I couldn't do that. Oh, yeah, there's, there's signs they put on the highway fines doubled in construction zones for what? I thought they'd say fines doubled. Yeah. <laughs> I really liked um, an eye for a Korean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's such a mixture of logical type, you know. You said punk beds, right? Punk right, punk beds instead of punk beds. Take the punk punk beds. Yeah. The other day I was walking down Murray Avenue and I thought it said grilled corn tacos. It was grilled corn tacos. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, misunderstandings are great uh, sources of uh, inspiration and great sources of getting into arguments with other people. Uh, anyway. That was actually one of the things that, that I used to do in dream work that Carlos Castaneda talks about. When you're dreaming in the dream world, you look at something and the letters are all like, you, you think you see something, but it appears like something weird like that. And you're supposed to turn your head and look at it again. And if it stays the same and it's like weird, then it's, it's one of these like cues to help you like wake up and achieve lucidity. Uh, so okay. that's oh, actually okay. kind of one of the things that you do with dream work to kind of cue your lucidity. So it's yeah, funny that you're doing it in your waking uh, life. Corn no, it looks like it. Isn't Are you sure it, it, it does look like corn tacos? It doesn't say that. Oh, it's corn. Oh, oh, like oh, it's corn. Oh, it's corn. Okay, right. Maybe someone did that. Or you look at your hands and your jam. I thought this was Oh, yeah, I can see that. Do you mind putting that in front of my camera? Corn taco, right? Um, this is very wide angle, so move up close. Okay, now stop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, right there is good. And that's probably long enough. Thank you.